Hello and welcome to the TempoZone tutorial on Corel Pressure Transducers. Three different types of transducers are used on TempoZone equipment to accurately read system pressures. A 0 to 17.5 bar suction transducer is used with UC6 printed circuit boards. A 0 to 34.5 bar suction transducer is used with UC7 and UC8 printed circuit boards. All printed circuit boards use a 0 to 45 bar discharge transducer. The operating range of the transducer can be seen embossed on the side of the transducer. A pressure transducer should not be mistaken for a pressure switch. Pressure transducers use a diaphragm that deflects under pressure. This deflection is converted into an electrical output signal that can be translated by the control board as a pressure. A 5 volt DC signal is supplied by the unit controller on the black wire. As the diaphragm deflects, the transduction element affects the 5 volt DC signal and sends a variable voltage out on the white wire, which is translated by the unit controller as a pressure. The green wire is used as a ground reference for the 5 volt DC signal. The pressure transducer readings can be viewed on the UC8 controller by pressing the SW3 push button. Refer to the instruction sheet supplied on the electrical panel of your TempoZone unit on the operation of the push button. When troubleshooting a faulty transducer, first check the transducer terminals by unplugging the transducer lead. Oil and dust residue can affect the transducer voltage output. Use contact cleaner to ensure electrical contacts are clean. Physically check transducer leads for damage. Ensure that the transducer leads are plugged into the correct location and make sure that the connections are tight and secure. Also ensure that the correct transducer range has been installed for the unit control board that is in service. Confirm the accuracy of gauge pressure against the UC8 transducer readings. With the unit controller energized, check for a 5 volt DC power supply to the transducer on the green and black wire at the transducer lead. The absence of 5 volt DC indicates a failure of the unit controller board. Once 5 volt DC power supply is confirmed, test between the white and green wire to measure the transducer voltage output. Cross-reference this voltage to pressure on the transducer voltage table supplied in the latest version 8 of the TempoZone service training manual. The pressure referenced can be checked against the gauge readings to confirm the accuracy of the transducer. If a transducer is found to be inaccurate, swap the transducer leads on the high pressure transducer and the low pressure transducer, just in case there is a high resistance on the lead. If this is true, the inaccurate reading will change to the other transducer. Transducers are manufactured with a Schrader depressor and fitted to a Schrader valve. This means that you do not need to reclaim the refrigerant charge when you replace your transducer. Remove the transducer lead and make sure you use two spanners when disconnecting and installing. There is no need to add a copper washer or thread sealant when installing as the brass sealing faces on the Schrader stem and the transducer will be sufficient. Bubble test for gas leaks after fitment. For further information to help you and your field diagnosis, be sure to download the latest version 8 of the TempoZone service training manual from tempozone.com or ask for a hard copy at your local branch. Be sure to subscribe to the TempoZone YouTube channel for training and tutorial videos, product updates and much more.